Welcome to my channel. Today we are asked to solve for the value of x and y if what x plus y equals 6 and x multiplied by y is equal to 6 as well. We are going to start by, um, uh, let's call this equation 1 and this one equation 2, okay? Then from 1, from equation 1, we can see that x is equal to what? 6 minus y. Yes, if we transpose this plus y to this side, it becomes 6 minus y is equal to x. Now, let's substitute this into equation 2. All right? If we do that, we are going to have 6 minus y multiplied by y is equal to 6. Now, let's expand. 6 times y will give us 6y. Minus y times y will give us minus y squared is equal to 6. Now, this is a um, quadratic equation. So, let's arrange it well as a quadratic equation. So, if we do that, we are going to have minus y squared plus 6y. Then, this 6, we, I will transpose it to this side to give me minus 6 is equal to 0. All right. Now, if you look at this variable, we can't have negative here. Or let's, as, let's just say we don't want negative there. All right, so to remove the negative, let's multiply through by minus one. So if we do that, we are going to have y squared minus 6y plus 6 is equal to zero. Okay, now let's go ahead and solve this. We can solve this by factorization. So let's go ahead and use a quadratic equation formula, also known as the almighty formula. Okay, so this formula states that y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. All right. Now let's bring out our a. Our a is the coefficient of y, which our uh, coefficient of y squared, sorry, which is 1. Our b is coefficient of y, which is minus 6. And our c is constant, which is plus 6. Now, let's substitute. That means that our y is equal to minus minus 6 will become plus 6 plus or minus square root of b squared, that is minus 6 squared, becomes 36. Then minus 4ac, that is 4 times 1 times 6, which will give us 24, divided by 2a, 2 times 1 will give us 2. All right, so we have that y is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 6 minus 4 will give us 2. 3 minus 1 will give us 1. Minus 2 will give us 1. So this is root 12 divided by 2. So that means that y is equal to 6 plus or minus root 12 can be expressed as root 4 multiplied by root 3, right? Okay, divided by 2. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. And I want you to always tune in every day because I post twice daily. So please always check to know what's new. Okay, thank you so much. So what do we have now? That y is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 4 will give us 2 root 3 okay divided by two all right so that means that y is equal to six divided by two we give us three plus or minus two divided by two we give us one so that means we have root three remaining now this simply means that we have two values of y recall that we are asked to find both y and x okay so here we have two values of y and which are our y one is 3 plus root 3, okay? Our y2 is 3 minus root 3, okay? Now, let's go ahead and solve uh, for y1. Now, since y1 is equal to this, how do we get our x1, okay? Now, let's go back to uh, this thing, to what we did initially. We said that x is equal to 6 minus y. That x is equal to 6 minus y all right so that means that x1 is equal to 6 minus y1 please let's continue from this side i do not have enough space to solve what i wanted to solve there 
So this is it. We have that y1 is equal to 3 plus root 3. So to get xy, xy is 6 minus y1, right? So it's going to be x1 is equal to 6 minus, and y1 is 3 plus root 3, okay? So that means that x1 is equal to 6 minus times 3 will give us minus 3. Minus times plus root 3 will give us minus root 3, sorry, minus root 3, okay? So that simply means that x1 is equal to 6 minus 3 will give us 3 minus root 3. So this is our x1 and this is our y1. Now, similarly, let's solve for x2 here, okay? So our x2 then will be equal to 6 minus y2 is what? 3 minus root 3, okay? So x2 will be equal to 6 times uh, 6 minus times 3 will give us minus 3. Minus times minus root 3 will give us plus root 3, okay? So that means that x2 will be equal to 3 plus root 3. So that is it. Now let's get to the most interesting part of this video, which is what? Let's substitute what we got into this equation to prove that what we got is right. Now, our, we are going to make use of, uh, let's use x1 and y1. So our y1 is 3 plus root 3, right? So they said x plus y is equal to 6. So x1 is 3 minus root 3. So we have... 3 minus root 3, right? Plus, um, y is what? y1 is 3 plus root 3. 3 plus root 3 is equal to 6. So if we solve that, then there is no need for this bracket, right? So let's solve. Minus root 3 plus root 3 give us 0. So what we have is 3 plus 3, which is 6, is equal to 6. So you can still substitute the values into the second value. Into the second equation, we are still going to get the same answer. Thank you so much for watching and do have a lovely day.